Seoul and Washington are on day two of their largest joint air force exercise to date uh, in the skies above the Korean Peninsula. Through this Friday, the Allies are conducting simulated war drills involving uh, bombers, fighters and thousands of troops as well in what is an extremely powerful show of force against North Korea. Our Kim Hyun Bin with the details. Dozens of state-of-the-art American fighter jets, including F-22 Raptors and F-35s, are blazing across the sky surrounding the Korean Peninsula. Their goal in this training exercise is to take out key North Korean nuclear facilities. Scores of fighter jets neutralize hostile threats while escorting bombers to their designated targets north of the border. The bombers drop their bombs, demolishing all targets. The simulation of a possible wartime scenario is part of the major Air Force exercise dubbed Vigilant Ace. It comes less than a week after North Korea launches newly developed intercontinental ballistic missile. The five-day exercise is the largest ever combined Air Force drill between the two allies, involving 238 warplanes and around 12,000 personnel. The exercise is held annually. We hold it to enhance our joint operations capabilities. Six F-22s and six F-35s have been deployed to the Korean Peninsula marking the first time the highly advanced jets have cruised the skies above Korea at the same time. Other U.S. assets include two B-1B bombers and six Growler electronic warfare jets, as well as dozens of F-15s and F-16s. South Korea has deployed 90 fighter jets, including its F-15 and F-A-50 fighters. North Korea condemned the drills on Sunday, saying they could lead to an all-out provocation that may lead to a nuclear war. Running a commentary in North Korea's state-run Dodong Shinmun on Sunday, Pyongyang says such a drill is a dangerous provocation as it's driving tensions on the Korean Peninsula to the brink of a war. And that both South Korean and the U.S. puppet forces are foolish to run amok with such stealth fighters. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.